In this video, we're going to take a tour of a Google document. As you can see, I've already started and created a new Google document, and my document's called Untitled Document. Anytime you create a new document in Google, it's always going to call it Untitled Document. So it's really important that you change the name of the document as soon as you create it. This way, you'll avoid having several untitled documents in your document list. To change the name of a document, click on Untitled Document and give it a new name. If you want to rename the document at any time, click on the document name and give it a new name. Another thing that I suggest people do is if you have folders set up in your Google Drive, I suggest that you organize your documents as you are creating them. So the first thing that I would have you do is change the title. The second thing I would have you do is organize that document into a folder. So I'm going to click on the folder icon. This is going to show, show me the folders that I have set up in my drive. I'm going to click the folder that I want that document to go into, and I'm going to click Apply Changes. This takes the document out of my drive and places it in the folder that you selected. So it keeps your My Drive list a little neater. Now let's take a tour of some of the features that we have available to us in Google Documents. You should notice that it looks familiar similar to old versions of Microsoft Word. Old versions of Microsoft Word had drop-down menus and had a button bar that looks similar to this. If we take a look at the file menu, we'll see some tools that are similar to what we have access to in Word and some things that are new. We'll talk about sharing in a minute, but you can create a new document, you can open a document, you can rename a document, you can make an exact copy of this document. You can see the revision history of the document, which allows you to go back to a previous uh, version of the document. Language will change the language of the menus and the commands within the document. So if you wanted to change it to Spanish, you could select that here. Download as is a useful feature. If you're working with someone who does not have a Google account, you could download this file as a Microsoft Word document or a PDF document and send it to them that way. Publish to the web is unique to Google Docs. This will allow you to embed this document into a blog or a website. Email collaborators is also unique to Google Docs. If you share the document with other people, you can email them from this file menu. So instead of having to go open up your Gmail, you can actually email them right here. You can also email this document as an attachment. Page setup is where you're going to find your margins and if you want to change the orientation from portrait to landscape. And the final command that we had under the print menu or under the file menu is print. Now, one thing that we are missing here is a save command. That's typically where you find the save command is under the file menu. There's no save, there's no save as. And the reason for that is because all changes are saved automatically. Every change you make is automatically saved, so there's no reason for you to remember to save the document great feature of Google Docs. Let's take a look at the edit menu. Similar, familiar tools here. Undo, redo, cut, copy, paste. You can select the entire document and you can find and replace words. Under the view menu, you can change the document view. Paginated means that you're going to be able to see the pages, the edges of the document, or you can change that to compact. You can show the ruler at the top of the screen or you can turn that off. For math and science teachers, there is an equation toolbar that you can add. You can show spelling suggestions, you can have compact controls, or you can also view the document full screen. Under the insert menu, a lot of this should be familiar to you. You can insert an image, a link, an equation, or a drawing. You can have footnotes in Google Docs. You can insert special characters, horizontal lines. You can do page numbers either at the top of the page or the bottom of the page. You can do a page count. You can do a page break. You also can have headers and footers in a Google Doc. You can insert bookmarks, and you can do a table of contents. The format menu, again, these are character or paragraph formatting options. Um, again, these all should be familiar to you. If you want to change the line spacing, um, that's under the format menu. Um, and you can also change the list styles, um, how the bullet looks in, if you do a bulleted list. The tools menu, um, we'll talk about research in a minute. You can define a word, you can do a word count of the document, you can translate a document, and this will actually take what you have typed on the Google Doc and translate it into another language. It will open up a new document, a copy of the document, translated um, in, another, in a new tab. Preferences will allow you to do some keyboard shortcut kind of things. Let's go back to the tools menu and take a look at this research pane. I love the research pane in Google Docs. If you click on research, that's going to bring up a research pane right here. And this is the same thing if I were to open up a new tab and go to google.com and type in a search term. This is the same thing here. So let's say I was doing a report on frogs. So I would type in my search term 
At the top, it's going to give me some scientific information. It's going to give me some images of frogs. So if I need to have an image of a frog, and then down here, it's going to give me the web results. Again, this is the same results that I would get if I were to open up a new tab and go to google.com. I love being able to research right within the document and not having to go outside of it to be able to um, do a search. So to close the research pane, you click the X. The table menu will allow you to insert a table and you can insert a very large table and then you'll be able to edit the table here. And finally, the help menu gives you all sorts of options for getting help on uh, using Google Docs. You will notice that you have a quick access button bar. A lot of these, all of these tools are available in one of these menus here, but uh, because these are things that you do frequently, they put them in a button form so that you can access them quickly. If you hover your cursor over the top of the button, you'll see what it does. Um, here are your fonts, and you have quite a wide variety of fonts in Google Docs. Um, you do have a small list here, but if you click on Add Fonts, you can add up to 500 different fonts to your uh, to Google Docs. So all of these fonts are available. You can see anything that I have checked is already in my font list, and I like this because it's actually written. That's the style of that font, so if I want to add that, I would just check it, and that's going to add that to my font list. And I have all of these fonts available. Any time I log into Google uh, no matter what computer I'm using. Uh, and then you have your paragraph, your character formatting tools and some paragraph formatting options. Again, if you hover your cursor over the top of those, it will tell you what that button does. You also have the ability to add comments to a document, and that's here with the comments button. So as a teacher, if you are requiring your uh, students to type a report. They don't really have to print it out and hand it in to you. you could, they could share it with you and you could come in here and make comments, things that they need to correct or that they need to change. And then lastly, the share button. And this is probably the most powerful feature of Google Docs is the ability to share a document. All documents that you create are private, viewable only to you unless you change that. If you click on the share button, you'll see some of your share settings. And in a different video, we will go through how to share a Google Doc. But just know that that is an option and that's one of the most powerful features of Google Docs. So that concludes your Google Docs tour.